Hello everybody. Um, first of all, um, it's four thirty in the evening, and we've actually got a lot more men at, at the front. Yay! Um, we live in a block of units. Um, we have townhouses. We live in a townhouse, and um, we don't organise who comes to cut the lawns. But apparently, um, it's cutting lawn day. Yay! Okay. Anyway, I the reason I'm here is because I've been to the post office to pick up a parcel. First of all I got really confused of what it was because the details of it was it was a large parcel. I'm like, wow. I'm like, I haven't ordered anything large. Um it could be my last habit. Could it be um a replacement that Violet Box is sending me out because my GHD no matter what I did wasn't coming out. Um what else could they have been? That that it could have been Mimi Box shipping early without telling me. I have no idea what it was. And I'm thinking it can't be large. They, those aren't large, right? So here I am expecting, you know, this big parcel, like maybe I don't know, a meter big by twenty centimeters big. I don't know. Um, I was thinking about that. So I went to the parcel uh, to the post office. Also, quick beef about the parcel uh, or the Australian Post. Um, my partner and I have been at home all day. We've been home all day long. Not once has a door no, doorbell been rung. Not once has a door knocked. Not once has my dog gone, oh, there's someone at the door. Because my dog is an awesome um, little doorbell and would ring. As soon as someone's at the door, they'd run out. She'd run to the door, bark, 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 bark whatever. None of that happened. Yet, when I went uh, this afternoon at... 2.30 p.m. to check the mail, I had a little slip telling me apparently they tried to deliver something. What the heck? We've been home all day. I haven't gone out anyway. What the heck is going on, people? Ah! Anyway, um, so this is apparently what a big parcel is. It's a little bit bigger than my head. Oh, it's about. Yeah, just a little bit bigger than my head. Um... So can you guys honestly tell me in the comments below that that's a large parcel? Is it? Anyway, um, it's an e-parcel. I'm actually not sure what it is. I've got a feeling what it is, and that's why I'm taping, so then I can reveal to you all what it is. So that is the tracking. All it has is my address and e-parcel and tracking number, but that's it. There's no address of anything else. Um... Nothing. There's nothing on it that could tell me what's in this. So, let's open it up. Ooh. I think I know what this is, and if it is, I am going to squeal with excitement. So, in three, two, one, cover your ears because I might scream. One, two, three. Yay! It is what I think it is! Yay! Okay. So, I've got. Apparently, I, I gifted this to myself. Awesome. Yay. Yay. Apparently, I gifted myself this. It's a gift from me, apparently. I, 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 okay. I bought this off Amazon. So, I'm really excited because the estimated um, delivery time was the 3rd of July. It's the 30th of June. So, my gosh. Okay. I ordered this, I put this through on the 19th on Amazon, and it's gotten to me on the 30th. That's way faster than Last Habit or some other beauty boxes do it, alright? And the only reason I'm picking on Last Habit is because, where's my Last Habit? I do not have my Last Habit. Where's my Last Habit? I was kind of hoping it was Last Habit because today's the last day for it to be June, so today's the last day for it to actually be able to be here physically. In my hand for the June. But anyway, that's something totally different. It's a little bit squashed to dead. But I got my Lorac Pro Palette. Number one. Number one. I actually bought this before actually realizing that the Lorac Pro Palette 2 had come out. Um, so, but I don't mind. I'm really happy because I want to try the first one anyway. Either way, I am wanting to get number two now. Um, without even having a look at this, I haven't looked at it yet. Um, but I can't find it anywhere at the moment, so I think I've got to wait a couple of weeks before it gets becomes available in Australia. So I bought this off Amazon. I'll put the link down the bottom. Um, if you want to, people in Australia who want to pay, buy it, 
I only paid it. The thing was forty two dollars. So I built up one. Um, I it was forty two dollars for the actual product, and on top of it, um, shipping and handling plus all of it was in American dollars. So it, all up, I paid fifty eight dollars ninety. So fifty nine dollars all up. So less than sixty dollars, I bought this this um palette. So I'm really really excited about it. So as I can see, we've got the primer in there. I've opened it up. I love the box. Has a nice little color. So let's try. Let's time to take it out. Ooh. Yay! So apparently, at the back of it, it says that I can scan it, and it should come up. Uh, if I scan it on my phone, it should come up with tutorials. So that's pretty cool. So that's my Lorac Pro. Yay! It's here. It's here. Wow. Oh, I'm so excited. So I've opened it up and there's a film covering it up. So you got No. Oh no. It's okay. Um I've opened it up. Um the plastic thing was actually stuck onto the mirror. So I don't know if you guys can see. I'm gonna blind no you can't. I hang on, wait, there you go. Nope. Don't know if you can see that. But just here, if I move it this way, you see it? There's too many things going on. Just there, there's a mark. There's a black mark. Just there. Now that's actually from here. Wow. It's from the R. The R has come off. I don't know if you can see that. Hang on, wait. I'm going to put my hand. Can you see that um, black that's come off the R? That's gone onto the mirror. Hopefully I can take it off. If not, people, help me. How the heck does this already? It's okay. It's not their fault. So, it comes with six map colors at the top. And then down the bottom, it comes... No, it's not six. It comes 16 in total. So, it's seven matte and seven glitter. Uh, glitter. Sparkly ones. Um, because it's near the end of the night, I'm not really using the greatest light of all. But let me see what I like. Let's try espresso, which is oh, that feels so nice. That feels so oh. And so I've done on one finger espresso and the other one because I love purple, deep purple. So those are the two colors, two dark. They're both dark colors. Go figure. I've grabbed the two most darkest colors, and then I'll just swatch in the back of my hand. Look how pretty they are. Look at the different. They're beautiful. I can so see myself putting these both on together. That's so beautiful. So I'm really excited that I've got them. And look, I still got pigments on my fingers. Wow. This is so beautiful. I'm so happy. And this is the real deal. Like, I was a bit worried it wasn't going to be the real deal. But it is because it actually has a number on it. Uh, down the bottom. I won't show you what the number is, but it actually has um an auth authenticity number down the bottom. Yay! So this is really quickly just showing you what I got. Um, if you want me to make um makeup tutorials, um, let me know and I'll do one. Um, I might actually do one tonight without even you telling me. Oh. Um, so I'll just show this. So I'll show you. So it comes with um sixteen colors, as I said. So I, I um just swatched these two, so the espresso and the deep purple, absolutely beautiful colours already. I can tell. As I said, and you can still have it still has some on there. So I'm really, really, I'm really happy. Um, so for all you Australian people out there, because I thought I might as well try it as well, and if it doesn't work out, I can warn people about it. Plus, it's Amazon. Like, because I've never done Amazon before, so, um, but I thought, yep, it's Amazon, I'll see what happens if, you know, it works out or not, and if it doesn't work out, I'll let you guys know, um, and if it does, it's cool. So it comes with the behind the scenes eye primer, the little sample one. Just want to open it up and have a look at it. Okay, cool, it's a cream coloured one, so just like some other, um, primers out there for eyelid um the urban decay one for example it's a cream flesh colored one that's what this one is as well 
Um, I just don't, because it's so small, I don't want to use it, so that's why I'm not going to swatch it. But I'm really, really happy. I'm really, really impressed with it. Like, you can smoke it out. I'm just playing around with it with my hand. Wow, you can smoke it out and... Wow, I'm really, really impressed. I'm happy. Yay! So, this is just a really quick, um, surprise! I got a Lorac Pro. This is what I've been waiting for. Um, this is my initial, yay, um, response to me receiving it and what I think of it. Um, it's worth, I reckon, so far at the moment, it's worth every money, every penny. And as I said, I've had a look on eBay and stuff and I've looked online and most people are selling these in Australia for about 80 90 some even $130. So $58 for this, that's a bargain. I reckon that's a bargain. So, and it came really fast. That was really fast. It came and, and um, my tracking said that it was still in customs. So I'm really surprised that it's even arrived now. So there you go, everyone. So that's my, you know, review. Well, not my review, but my unboxing of my Lorac Pro um, palette. Um, yeah, so... Yay! Alright, see, talk to you later. Bye.